these scenes kicked ass and took names. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times martial artists went beast mode. For this list, we'll be ranking the moments in martial arts films where characters and actors gave it their all. These sequences showcased some of the best and most intense performances from the martial artists in question, but will likely also reference important plot points. So, a spoiler alert is now in effect. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Final Fight, Shaolin and Wu-Tang. It's no secret that rap heroes the Wu-Tang Clan are heavily inspired by classic kung fu flicks from the 1970s and 80s. If what you say is true, the Shaolin and the Wu-Tang could be dangerous. This film in particular, however, has been heavily sampled by hip-hop artists across the globe. But Shaolin and Wu-Tang isn't just about retro kitsch. <laughs> Tech cheese. My brother. Brother Takchi, you have studied our Kung Fu with exemplary vigor. Instead, this final fight scene featuring director and star Gordon Liu starts in overdrive and reaches a fever pitch thanks to some world-class skill. Liu and his co-stars tell a story of murder, jealousy, and miscommunication all within their deadly ballet of martial arts, with Liu in particular able to balance comedic lines and incredible acrobatics with ease. This Kung Fu matinee is totally legit. <laughs> Number 9. Donnie Yen vs. Mok Wei Chung, Legend of the Wolf, a.k.a. The New Big Boss. Genre legend Donnie Yen directed, produced, co-wrote, and even starred in this late 90s flick. Also known as The New Big Boss, it features this ridiculously frenetic fight between Yen and an opponent utilizing a monkey-style fighting technique. The scene is straight bananas. Opening with a flurry of punches from actor Mok Wei Chung, with the sound design on their impact sounding like thunder claps from the heavens. <laughs> Meanwhile, the choreography between the two men ramps up its pace to ludicrous speed, leaving both Yen and Wei Chung looking like total badasses. Number 8, Jackie Chan vs. Benny Yorkides, Wheels on Meals. Jackie Chan's love of physical comedy and silent era cinema has been well documented, with many of his productions making the most out of some death defying stunt work and captivating visual style. I go. This match between Chan and fellow legend Benny the Jet Yorkides starts off fairly serious, with the pair's martial arts ballet gradually increasing intensity before taking a turn. The Wheels on Meals score turns decidedly funky, and Chan begins to incorporate a more lighthearted approach, even tickling the Jet at one point. Don't think for a second that either man phones it in from here, however, as this extended fight features Chan besting the jet with an incredible double shot before finishing him off with an equally incredible flying knee. <laughs> Number 7, Donnie Yen vs. Colin Chow, Flashpoint. There's a sense of realism with our next entry, a stark contrast to some of the more fantastic examples on this list. Perhaps this is due to reports that Donnie Yen was inspired by mixed martial arts during the production of Flashpoint in 2007.
This could explain why this final fight between Yen and Colin Chow feels so wince-inducing and dangerous. Sure, there's plenty of fleet footwork to be had, but the vibe overall fits the beast mode idea perfectly, with both men giving their all to the scene. Knees on the ground, arm bars, and triangles make the most out of the close quarters setting, while a brief break in the action only serves to amp things up for a brutally physical finale. Number 6. Kumite, 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 Bloodsport The plot of Bloodsport sounds like a precursor to Mortal Kombat, an unsanctioned, underground, and out-of-control fighting competition featuring the strongest competitors from around the world. The film was based upon the outlandish real-life claims of martial artist and choreographer Frank Dukes. But don't let the controversial nature of Duke's story deter you from checking out this late 80s action gem. The Kumite tournament is full of highlights, but the final battle between Jean-Claude Van Damme and Bolo Young brings everything together in terms of Van Damme beast mode. Van Damme's Dukes fights through the temporary blindness caused by Young's cheating powder throw and is all slow motion spin kicks and howling expressions of rage, finally making his opponent submit in defeat. Sad! Sad! Ah, Number 5. Jet Li vs. Billy Chow, Fist of Legend. Remakes don't always live up to their source material, but this Jet Li vehicle did an admirable job of updating Bruce Lee's classic 1972 film, Fist of Fury. <laughs> Lee takes on the role of Chun Jen in Fist of Legend, squaring off against the mad General Fujita at the film's climax. The scene between Lee and co-star Billy Chow is a masterclass in choreography, style, and grace. Equal parts classic kung fu with a modern cinema aesthetic. Chow cuts a particularly imposing figure, barely recognizing the damage taken until Lee finally gets the upper hand, eventually ending Fujita's reign of terror with a belt and a well-timed twist on the general's own katana. <laughs> Number 4. Death in the Lab – The Raid – Redemption We could have easily gone with the hallway fight in The Raid – Redemption for our next pick, but we decided to go with the drug lab sequence instead. The secret to this scene's success, unlike others on our list, doesn't necessarily hinge upon a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but instead is more about the sum of its parts. Iku Weiss's Rama has reunited with part of his police squad as they make their way through an array of thugs. The camera is almost a separate character as it captures all of the incredible choreography on display, from every punch and kick to a varied array of improvised weapons. This one truly goes all the way. Number 3. Tipsy Terror – Drunken Master 2 In case you were wondering, yes, drunken boxing is a real style of martial arts, with roots dating back to Buddhist and Taoist monks. <laughs> Jackie Chan's Drunken Master series is considered by many to be some of his best work. And this final fight from the second film provides plenty of evidence to back up that claim. <laughs> Chan's Wang Fei Hung is a curious mix of comically tipsy and uncharacteristically feral at points, attacking Ken Lo's John with a full bore head on attack. The drunken style's unpredictability makes for an entertaining watch, while Chan's performance is over the top and genre defining in a way that only he can deliver. Ah! 
Number 2. Dojo Attack – Fist of Fury There's a very good reason why the iconic Bruce Lee is so pissed at the climax of Fist of Fury. The film's core is very much rooted in anti-Chinese sentiment, with Lee's Chun Zhen facing off against an abusive rival school of Japanese martial artists. It all comes to a head when Lee's character confronts these students in their dojo, initially besting a couple in one-on-one -on -one fights before being surrounded by the clearly outmatched group. Bad idea. Lee punches and kicks his way through the opponents with ease before busting out a pair of nunchaku and getting down to beast mode business. It's an intense, entertaining, but also very personal scene that makes the most out of Lee's definitive martial arts skill. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Sword Thief, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Beauty and the Beast Mode. Fight Club, Ong Bak the Thai Warrior. We can talk about this Fight Club. Bruce Lee vs. Chuck Norris, The Way of the Dragon. Good luck, Chuck. <laughs> Yuri Boya vs. Raul Dolor Quinones, Undisputed 3 Redemption for brutal realism. The Prison Yard Fight, The Raid 2, for fun in the mud. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. 10 Black Belts – Ip Man I want to fight 10 people. This is the demand set forth by Donnie Yen's Ip Man in this 2008 film an act that would probably spell certain doom for anyone else. Give me ten of them! You crazy? Please don't! I want to fight ten! But, thanks to this pick's placement, you can probably figure out what happens next. The tension ramps up to an almost unbearable point before Yen explodes with a performance that barely controls its rage. The titular Ip Man is surrounded by ten karateka and spares no one, breaking limbs and destroying anyone in his path. This scene may not be as long or drawn out as some of the others in our list, but Yen is ruthlessly efficient in his work, leaving an impression on the viewer that will not soon be forgotten. He wants you to come back. I didn't come here for the rice. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.